a lot of veterans on this team. High expectations for a lot of us, and high expectations for this team from Don Corbett as well. I have expectations for us, and other people have expectations for us. It's just a matter of us getting out and doing the job on a consistent basis. We've got some talent without question. You know, uh, I think that we've probably got the best talent we've seen that we've had in the last few years here at MG, but putting that talent together and meshing it together. Huh? Jenny, how am I gonna pay for the stuff of the car and my stuff? I, that's why I sent it to you so you could put something back in there. Jenny, it was. I sent you. I got out what I needed for the car. I ain't getting no more out. That's why I sent it to you so you would know that. Just put something back in there. Let you didn't give me the card.
Great play by Philip Allen right there. 25-19 Aggies at the half. And in the second half, Central comes back. Taylor Knight, he gets a nice drive and lay in. Eagles got to a close at one point, but the Aggies pull away. Jermaine Williams on the slam, and the crowd at the Greensboro Coliseum was having a good time tonight. They were rocking. Then Williams over to Thomas Garner. He gets the slam. 70-64. Aggies with the big win. Now in the pros, team rivalry is strong. Coach Paul and the school officials did not want to play the game on either campus. It was a simple fun game and was originally scheduled for the Smith Center in Chapel Hill. Pretty high. Central found out the dean charges big bucks to play on that floor. So the baseball competition is so a little ch cheaper. A and T with visitors tonight. Central, the home team. That seems a little strange in a game in Greensboro, but nonetheless, it was A T playing strong here. Thomas Garner. Is Williams A and T takes the lead in the second half. That's good. This is a good job catching up, but the Aggies managed to hold on and win 70. A couple of reports to tell you. Gilford walks tonight. Two hold the top spot. AMT is so damn Monday, but tonight there's no time to look ahead. The Wildcats are the first open in town. Aggies taking it serious. Jermaine Williams with a slam here at 22 points, but BC comes back. They're real off three straight threes. For Troy Strong was lights him up number 23. Here he goes again. He had 14 points on the night. But the Aggies regroup. Darrell, Chile. Driving all the way in for the layup this time. Next time, it's going to come up the floor with Dish off. And Dana Elliott for two more. Aggies win it 70 59 tonight.
um, challenge enough that we can catch up like this team all the time. And it's a four minute game for us. We're better when we can be close. All right, just like the mix. Again, Clark at the Corbett Center on the campus of North Carolina A&T, making the Aggies the North Carolina A&T. 66 Rams of Winston-Salem State, 54 Keith Roundtree for two of his 11. Winston-Salem an early lead, but Dean Elliott brings A&T back. Had 14 for the Aggies tonight. Then Jamie Williams led A&T 16 points. Let's make it 31-25 at halftime. Then Philip Allen is going to finish the Rams off. Right here, A&T wins at 66-54, but hold on, there was more from this game, something you don't like to see. Some fans in the stands decided the game wasn't exciting enough and tried to grab center stays and each other, for that matter. From the reports we've gotten from A&T, no arrests were made from this nonsensical action, but several fans were ejected from the game. One thing to remember, folks, no game should be taken this seriously after all. It's just that a game, rivalry or no rivalry, and no players were involved in this fight, just the fans. All right, we continue with back on A&T, the Winston-Salem State Rams. It's A&T in goal, Winston-Salem State in the red. That's Dana Elliott, puts the Aggies out on top early. But you know, oh man, this house game has a plan. When you play an A&T, and the plan was working, and the game was tight. First half, game was tight midway through the second half. Damn it, dude. And then they win it. Oh, dude, a little A&T on to a win tonight over Winston-Salem State. 66-54. Great Phoenix, but the tension was as thick as motor oil tonight. Here in the triad, we had Winston-Salem State getting it on with North Carolina A&T. The Aggies had the home court advantage as the Rams were trying to snap a 13-game losing streak. They had a 9-point A&T lead. They had them dancing in the streets, but Patrick Carey behind the back to Carlos Mumford. Rams within four. On the other end, watch A&T's jamming Jermaine Williams. Two of his team-high 16 points. Right there, the lead is up to seven for a &T, but Winston-Salem State stays pesky. Charles Bennett had a game-high 23, misses from one side, misses from the other side, but Keith Roundtree right down the pipe, deficit to three. But Phillips scores five straight down the stretch, and the Aggies are able to pull away 66 to 54. There he goes again, the Rams 14 straight loss. In the NBA tonight, my own game in the Corbett Center, Howard Bison leads them the act, and with the season winding down, the Aggies needed a win, have a shot at the title, and this was a wild, wild basketball game. 63-61, Howard, and this bucket makes it a four-point lead at 65-61, down for the thrill. But here, Bobby Moore hits the three-pointer from the corner on the free-throw fast break, and it's all tied at 65. There was a free-throw in there someplace, and today about Danny Elliott would come to the step, step up to the free-throw line and hit it to make it 66-65. The Bison would have one more shot to win this game, but it doesn't fall the final score. Wake Forest took a big step in their game together, no matter what the sport. Tonight was no exception in basketball at the Corbett Center over in Greensboro. a and wins it in a bit of controversy. a 66, Howard 65, Charles Jackson gets it to Ty Allen. 13-13 game. Now watch Bobby Moore. He's going to lay it in right here. Working his way in good move by Bobby Moore into the paint. 17-17 ball game. This game was tight all the way through, although uh, A&T had its moments to break it open. Allen gets it over to Colin Spady to dunk, and then A&T starts pulling away, 31-22. But Howard comes back. He's going to hit a three-pointer coming up here, and this is going to make it a 65-66, 65-65 game. Dana Elliott's going to win it at the free throw line, 66-65. That's our final, but not before there's some controversy here. They did the shot get off in time. The answer is no, there was a whistle on the play, but again, since the shot was not off in time, there was no foul, a and holds on for a 66-65 win. And a guy that we'd like to show you right here, and the Aggies playing an important conference game against the Morgan State Bears. A&T's been an up and down team this year, and they were down a little early. Look at the passing there by the side of the Bears when they take the lead. Don Phillips has come on, we're home, guys. We've got to win at home. Dana Elliott, a real leader on this team, is a 34. Boy, when he gets it going, he's to look out. Nobody can stop that guy. Jermaine Williams coming here on the slam jam. And A&T would roll tonight as the Aggies have 15 and 8 on the year. They beat Morgan State 1 of 7 tonight in 5. What's the Salem State was a win? It's their team getting 100 plus in the quarter center in Greensboro. That's the first one on A&T. Aggies going to get their money for the A&T. Morgan State, Morgan State, 95. Jermaine Williams hits. Right here, working it up, battling it in. And we're going to see, well, I'll tell you, that's hard work under the boards there, isn't it? And then we're going to see Dana Elliott going to attempt to score it. It's no good. Jermaine Williams put it back in. And Morgan State freshman Charles Fagan got himself a nice reverse layup. 
for A&T. Let's watch Paul and Spady. Go to hard work underneath for the basket. And a breakaway coming up. Bill Bellin to Colin Spady. Big win for A&T tonight. Well, it was a good night. Greensboro for A&T. Another downer for UNC Greensboro. From State. Start with A&T. And what you want is what you get if you muscle it inside. Thomas Carter for the A's. The Morgan State counters with finesse. Charles Fagan. Baseline. Nice move. Reverse lay at the A&T bench seat. Did you see that?
out. Kurt Trimmick. 